Uh, this is the uh, Algebra 2 end of course practice test, question number 42. The question says, what is the inverse of g sub x equals the square root of 5x minus 2 plus 1 for all x not or greater than 2 fifths, which is an exclusion, blah, blah, blah. What we're going to do is look at the idea of an inverse. I'm going to rewrite this function in terms of y, sort of like in, uh, in a bit, like slope-intercept form. So I'm going to put y here equals the square root of 5x minus 2 plus 1. Now, the idea of an inverse, it means I'm going to flip the x and y over. So I'm going to take the place of this x and put the y there, and then vice versa. So I'm going to rewrite this a little bit. Try not to make such a gigantic mess that I can't salvage it. So my new equation is going to look like this. Now all I have to do is sort of solve it like an equation. My new variable that I'm trying to get by itself would be the y here. So I'm going to make a little highlight marker over the y. That's the thing I want to get by itself. Uh, now in other videos that I've made you might have seen that uh, I try to get rid of everything, whatever on the same side of the line that's furthest away from that y, which in this case of course would be the plus 1, because the plus 1 is outside of that square root. Anything outside of the square root on the same side, you need to move that first. So it's a simple solution of minus 1, minus 1 over here. Now you don't have like terms so you have to bring down x minus 1, and then bring down everything you didn't mess with, so square root of 5y minus 2. The next step is to get rid of the square root. And the only way to get rid of the square root is to square it because they're opposites of each other. So in fact, if you want to practice if you want to think about it, go in into your calculator and type in the square root of something and then put parentheses around it and square it. It should get back to whatever number you typed underneath the square root because square and square root are opposite. So I'm going to square both sides. That will get rid of this square root and I'm just going to be left with 5y minus 2. On this side, I'm going to end up with x minus y, or x minus 1, I'm sorry, squared. Now, simple step for the next one would be to get rid of the minus 2, so I'm going to add 2. It's not squared, so I'm dealing with a situation where I have um, x minus 1, I'm running out of room, x minus 1 squared plus 2 equals 5 y. And then of course in the last step I'm going to divide everything by 5 because I need to get y I need to get y by itself. So what I'm left with is x minus 1 squared plus 2 and because I divided by 5 in the last step everything else has 5 underneath it. So 5 needs to go under all of it and not just under one part. So I'm going to look for the answer that seems to show that being the right answer and it looks like f would be that answer. It's got the x minus 1 squared, it's got the plus 2 and everything's divided by 5. It shows the right signage for the inverse of uh, g sub x. So my final answer for number 42 is f. So it's not really as hard as you would think it is. Just switch x and y and then solve for y by eliminating everything that's further and further or the further away from it first or the furthest away first I guess and then just work it down until you're left with a statement that says y is equal to and that's your inverse. Not a big deal.